This time I'm on gorgeous Grenada, where I'll be indulging in my tropical island fantasy. Welcome to Seven Sisters Falls or St. Martha's Falls. Wow, look at this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> that is freezing, man. Taking a diving trip through an underwater art gallery, that's worth ruining me air for. It's like being in another world down there, but fabulous. And getting down with the locals. I'll be getting a special tour of the Spice Island's amazing markets, topped off with a mouth-watering Grenadian meal. Oh, wow. Oh, really? And discover the secrets of chocolate making. We're going to shuffle through like this, OK? Glad to wash my feet this morning. Come and join me on the trip of a lifetime. This is the longest pool in the Caribbean. As I leave St Lucia to head to Grenada, I can't tell you what a blast I've had on me Todd. I know there's a lot of us out there now who are single, and if you're single and you want to do the Caribbean, do it. I promise you, you'll have a brilliant time. Don't be afraid. You know, just take that first step. And if I can do it, you can do it. I couldn't fly directly from St Lucia to Grenada, so after a pit stop in Barbados, I'm on my way. I'm here. I'm in Grenada at last. Welcome to Grenada. Thank you very much. Shall I, I leave that back? with you, my darling? OK. Thank you. Brilliant. Right, then. Thank you. <sighs> right. I'm off. <laughs> There are plenty of local taxis and buses at the airport, but since it's late and I'm gagging for my bed, I'm taking advantage of the private chauffeur service provided by my tour operator. I'm going to get in to my room and I'm going to hopefully be overjoyed, like I usually am, and I'm going to have a nice shower, unpack and fall into bed. I might treat myself to a cup of tea as well. I brought me on tea bags. So if I can find some milk, I'll be having a cup of tea before I go to bed. My hotel's on the island's southwest corner, with the Grand Anne's Beach on its doorstep. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Evening, Oh, yes, thank you very well, much. All right, welcome. I know, I need that more. <laughs> thank you. Do you know, I could just put it all over my body. That's a heck of a long pool, isn't it? I'm only in reception. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm going to try and do a bit of swimming while I'm here. Try is the word. <laughs> right, I'm going to check in. Hello, Jane. Hi. Welcome to Silver Sands Grenada. Thank you. My name is Shane. I'll be taking you to the room. Brilliant. I'm sure you're very happy to be in the Isle of Spice. You have no idea how uh, happy I am to be here right uh, now. Definitely. <laughs> so this way. Thank you. Even in the dark, I can see I'm going to really enjoy my stay here on Grenada. But for now, guys, it's night-night, because this McDonald needs a bed and a beauty sleep. Good morning! I've got to show this. I mean, I've never seen anything as big in my life. Look at the size of that shower head up there. It took me an hour to get to bed last night, just trying to figure out what button does which and that. These are all my buttons. So the blinds, they go up and down. Look at that. Then I've got my curtains. Which are amazing, aren't they? There's a lot of curtains. It's, it's not your Brentford nylons in here, you know. Then you can open the proper curtains and see the view. Look at that. Oh. I mean, even these open nice and easy, don't they? Look at this. I mean, it's a bit fab, isn't it? 
What a view. I'd pack it up and take it home if I could. Now, this is Grand Anse Beach, and I've picked this location because it's near the beach. I love the sound of the waves. I love the smell of the sea. And this is the biggest beach on Grenada and the most popular. This is just lovely, isn't it? Eh? We're off to a good start, but there's 134 square miles of island to explore. With so much to see and do, it can be a bit overwhelming. So if you're feeling spoiled for choice, do what I do and ask the experts. Hello, Hello Shay. Good morning, Jane. How are you doing today? I'm really well. Like most hotels, the reception staff are often happy to offer advice and help with booking different trips. So I have some tools I can definitely recommend for you. Right. So you definitely have to see the spice market. That sounds wonderful. All right, and another thing, Jane, that you definitely need to see is the Belmont Estate. So that's where you see the production of chocolate from the ground up. Chocolate? Mm -hmm. You've got me sold. And I'll go ahead and take care of everything for you so you don't have to worry. That's amazing. Thank you, Shay. Right, you're welcome. Bye. One outfit change later, and I'm ready for my first adventure. Shane's rustled up a one-to-one -one day trip for me with local guide and expert chef Belinda. Hi, are you Belinda? Absolutely, I am. Are you Shane? I am. <laughs> oh, let's, let's go. go to market. Yes, come in. She's taking me to must-see food markets. Spice, the commodity the island is best known for, and fish. And then, the best bit. She's going to show me how to cook a top-notch, super-fresh Grenadian meal from what we buy. So I won't even have to fork out for me tea. We are one of the leading um, distributors and producers of nutmeg in the world. Nutmeg is so good for you, I mean, medicinally and the smell, just mm. for your wellness, just the smelling it alone, it's like, you feel like you're a spa. Oh, <laughs> amazing. I did think it would add a bit of a eucalyptus. Yes. Yeah. And we have our eucalyptus here as well. Oh, you're short of nothing. <laughs> That's You've right. You've got it all. That's right. <laughs> if you're holidaying solo like me, then Belinda's foodie safari on the Spice Island is perfect. You don't just get her expert knowledge, you get a pal for the day too. And what's, what's this place to... called again? This is St George's. We are St. right now George's. in the town of St George's. And everybody will say good morning to you. Oh, isn't that <laughs> lovely? It's a bit like Yorkshire that way. Yes, I understand that. Yeah. Too. It's very nice. A short drive from my hotel, St George's is the capital of Grenada, a postcard pretty port, with Georgian houses overlooking the vibrantly busy harbour. And at the heart of it all is Grenada's biggest spice market. Look at all the spices! I love a shopping trip, but you know me, I'm a can of Yorkshire lass, so if I can get a lesson at the same time, I'm all about that. Hi, I'm Jane. Hi, Jane, I'm Annie. This is handed over from my mom, so I've done this since I was a wee little girl. Oh, <laughs> so you know everything about all the spices. Oh, and I ate a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Oh, and this is bay leaf, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, that's the goodness. bay leaf. You this... can take a smell there. Oh, they're going to love this. Yeah? Too. Have a smell of that. Isn't it? Oh, something? wow. Yes. That okay. smells nothing like we get in the UK. No. <laughs> That's a fresh bay leaf. Oh yes, you can wrap your chicken with this, fish. It's also good for sinusitis, not just flavor. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and we're going to be using that today. Oh, Jane. that's how it's good. Yeah, so Get a bit of sinusitis. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. And then you have the mace here. Oh, so mace. this is usually on the outer part of the nutmeg. So it's two spices in one. Well, I love a bargain. Nutmeg's known as black gold here. Since growing and farming, it provides an income for almost a third of the population. And with the mace and the nutmeg, regulates your digestive system. Nutmeg, cinnamon, turmeric and ginger are just some of the spices Belinda uses. I can't wait. And since you love to smell them, these are fresh. You can have them in the room and just begin to smell them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Okay. Oh, yes, also you. Oh. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. Bye. Till next time. Bye. Now I've spiced up my life, it's time to head to the fish market. Well, look at this beautiful fish Ooh. here. Isn't that gorgeous? How long is the John? How are you? I'm fine, you? Very good. This is Jane and Hi. <laughs> it's not that different to the fish market back home, to be fair. 
just a lot more variety than your usual addock and cod. What is this, Mr. Johnson? This is, this is a tailfish. Okay. Yeah. It's just from the boat, like this. Right. This because sense of the slime on it. Uh huh. So you get a real good right here. Okay. We're probably going to take some of that today. What do you think? Okay, yeah. yeah. Very delicious, you know? Yes. It's a meaty fish, isn't it? Yes. It's pink now, but when yeah. you cook it, it goes right. white. Yeah. See, I never knew that. <laughs> Good tell I don't there cook. There you go. <laughs> oh, you're going to be cooking today, Jane. Oh. <laughs> Cooking with Belinda is all part of the day trip experience. I just hope she knows what she's letting herself in for. Your delivery. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. John. That's great. All right. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Coming up, I get the cooking lesson of a lifetime. I just can't tell you how good this is. It's like an explosion mm -hmm. in your mouth. Get the adrenaline pumping with an adventure off the beaten track. Welcome to Seven Sisters Falls oh. or St. Margaret's Falls. Wow, look at this. It's gorgeous. And discover a spectacular hidden world of underwater artworks. Oh, that was fabulous. I'm on the stunning spice island of Grenada in the Caribbean. If sun, sea and exotic food is your kind of thing, then this is the island for you. My hotel has booked me on a one-to-one -one day trip with local expert chef and guide Belinda. And I'm loving it. I'm learning so much. That smells okay. nothing like we get in the UK. No. <laughs> That's a fresh bailey. I've already spent the morning exploring the impressive spice and fish markets in St George's, Grenada's capital. And now Belinda's brought me to the gardens of the Tower Estate for the really special part of her foodie tour. A Grenadian cooking lesson. What a treat. Jane, this is what we're having for lunch and this is all the seasonings that we're going to use. We went to the market today and got some yeah. really great vegetables, remember? Look at and these. I diced them all up. Look at that fish that we got earlier today. Oh, we're wow. We're going to cook that up today. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Forget your disposable barbecues in the back garden. This takes outdoor cooking to a whole new level. So what we got here, spring onions? Yeah, spring onions, regular onions, ginger, fresh ginger, which we just got out of the ground right there, mm -hmm. and uh, garlic, and this is something what we call seasoning pepper here. It's not hot, it's a light, sweet tasting pepper. Right. And our Creole sauce is celery, local celery, which we, which we all get all this here, red pepper and green pepper, spring onions again, carrots, fresh tomato, tomato paste, and fresh thyme we just got in the garden there. How did you get into cooking then? Wow, I really love to uh, make people feel good. And mm. um, the best way I noticed was when they had great food. We have a carrot over there, we need some peeling. Right, I'm good at peeling. Okay. So I'll be a sous chef. I usually like to do it. Go on, you show me, you're the professional. I like to do it one stroke. All right, I'll right? try a one stroke. One stroke, no. right? okay. okay, great. One stroke. <laughs> This is Belinda's pre-prepared Creole sauce, a delicious mix of European and African ingredients and flavours. You're doing a really good job over there, Jane. Oh, Keeping it professional carrot peeler now. Yes, yes, yes. But I didn't come here to show off my peeling skills. I want to know all the secrets of authentic Grenadian cooking. It smells amazing. Yes, here, here it is. Freshness of the onions and the garlic. Yes. And, oh. This is lunch. So it's coming along. And then we have the cuckoo, which is um, cornmeal. So we're just going to add coconut milk to our cuckoo. Cuckoo is Grenada's version of polenta. Ground corn, but mixed with fresh thyme and the fragrant bay leaves we picked up at the market. And you know, in the islands, everybody has a version of this. We make it with coconut milk and okra, but we left the okra out. If you like fresh tuna, then try sailfish if you visit Grenada. They're very similar. We're going to go ahead and check out our kaulu. Kaulu and kuku. Kuku and kaulu. Kuku and kaulu. Yeah, kuku, kuchu. All right. So this is this? Yes. Which looks like a house plant in England. Yes, it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Like an elephant yeah. ear plant. Yes, it's very similar from the same family, actually. Kalalu may sound like yodeling, but it tastes like spinach cooked in garlic, ginger, and more thyme. 
Well, here we are, Jane. Oh, wow. We're all ready. Ah, my cuckoo. Lovely. Oh, wow. What do you think? <laughs> this is just the best taste I've ever had in my life. So we've got ginger, we've got nutmeg, mm -hmm. coconut. Mm. It's like an explosion mm -hmm. in my mouth. Oh, I wish you could taste this. You need to come to Grenada, meet my friend here, Belinda, and come and have this experience because it is exquisite and she's fab. Of course I am. <laughs> yes, you are, baby. Thank you. I just can't tell you how good this is. It's such a special treat to get an authentic Grenadian meal cooked in such beautiful surroundings. Belinda and her culinary safari will stay with me for a very long time. But as I've been on my feet all day, when Belinda drops me off back at the hotel, I'm ready for a spot of R&R. &R. And I've had my eye on that double Olympic-sized pool since I got here. This is the longest pool in the Caribbean. So you've just got to get in, haven't you? Here I go. Well, I didn't say I was going to start at the top. This is what dream holidays are made of, eh? And relax. And I'll need as much relaxation as I can get, as I know Shane from reception has organised another fun-filled day for me tomorrow. Day two on Grenada, and after me taste buds got a treat yesterday, it's time to delight my other senses. It's exciting today because I'm going scuba diving first time in five years. Um, I'm going to see an underwater sculpture park. It's not every day you get to say that. If you're on Grenada, this is most definitely a must-do trip. Hello, Hello again, Jane. How are you? All right. <laughs> From Grand Dance Beach, it's a speedy 15-minute boat ride straight up the west coast to the Sculpture Park in Molinaire Bay. If you don't scuba, don't worry. Your hotel or tour operator can arrange snorkelling packages for you, or you can pick up a glass-bottom boat ride from St George's to enjoy the sculpture without even getting wet. I can't wait to get down there and see what I'm going to see. <laughs> Might not look as elegant as it just did on Christine. We're going to go on three, okay? One, two, three, roll back. <laughs> well done! <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? Woo. Good job! Molinier Bay Underwater Sculpture Park is one of National Geographic's 25 Wonders of the World. At just 23 feet deep, it's a quick descent and the ethereal sculptures start to come into view. It was created in 2006 by artist Jason D. Cares Taylor and it's quite magical. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Beautiful and a bit spooky, if I'm honest. Apparently, this one is called Grenada's Nutmeg Princess and she signifies following your dreams. Now that's something I can relate to. And it's so relaxing down here. The only sound is my breathing. This is one scuba dive I won't forget in a hurry. and you feel privileged to visit it. And the sculptures just add to everything. It's like being in another world down there. Land ahoy. It really 
it does you good to get out of your hotel. I know, looking at my hotel, I will probably never leave it. But we're coming into the harbour now at St George's and it's just so pretty to see. Get on the sea, get under the sea and see what Grenada's all about. Look at that. It just looks so pretty. Coming up, I get treated to a private dance, Grenadian style. And spend the day in the hills learning how to make chocolate. Why is it doing that? <laughs> I'm not good at this, am I? It's day three of my stay on the Spice Island of Grenada, and so far I'm loving everything this untouched paradise has to offer. Today, I've got another taste delicious treat in store, involving one of my all-time favorite ingredients, chocolate. Grenada now makes some of the best organic chocolate in the world, and luckily for me, and you if you come, one of the island's manufacturers has opened their doors to tourists for a bean to chocolate bar tour. Welcome to another day in paradise in Grenada. I'm very happy to be here today to see how chocolate's made. This bit of chocolate here smells like a brewery. So at the minute, I'm getting chocolate and beer. Win, win. It's going to be a good day. Ah, and hello. so come to Belmont has stayed the home of fine chocolate. It's so wonderful to have you with us. Belmont is a place of beauty and flowers. Oh, thank you. How about you. matching with me and wearing a minia here? All right, look, can you clip it in? Because I would love I'm to. I'm rubbish at putting things in. Oh, that's oh. me here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. When I'm the sorry. red starts, let's stop. <laughs> there. Okay. That's it. You look beautiful. Oh, so do you, love. Yeah. So do you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here oh, today. It's our pleasure. We just love to tell people about our chocolate from the cocoa trees and the pods to the final finished bar. Oh, great. And you will have a chance to make your own chocolate today. Isn't that awesome? That is really awesome, yeah. actually, because I'm quite partial to the cocoa. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Who doesn't yeah. love chocolate? You're going to get the best chocolate here. You're in for a treat. <laughs> Come on! Shadell's family have owned this estate since 1944. So for her, chocolate making is a way of life, as opposed to chocolate eating, which is mine. So this is a young field of cocoa trees here. Right. This field is about five years old. There are several little cocoa pods on the tree, uh -huh. and they may be in green or red or just really brilliant, you know, colors. And of course, it's all organic here, isn't it? Yes, we are 100% organic. We've been certified since 2003. So okay. we're going to learn how to crack the cocoa pods open. Okay. So, those are our cocoa beans. They're covered with a nice pulp and we can actually taste it, Jane. Mm. Oh, you can, can you? Yeah, you can just pick one off and you just suck that sweet pulp. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's like fruit. Mm -hmm. Like lychee. Mm. Lychee, mm -hmm. that's exactly how it is. Yeah. Same texture a little mm -hmm. bit as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? Quite slimy. I'm amazed to discover there are up to 50 beans per pod, which Shadell's team painstakingly remove, then place in wooden boxes to ferment, and that's where the magic starts to happen as the chocolate flavor develops. After fermentation, we have to dry our beans, and so we dry our beans right out here in the sun. You wouldn't get that in in the United I'm Kingdom. I'm sorry, no, you no. wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But the fun part of it is that we get to walk through these beans to help the drying process. Right. Would you like to try it? Yeah. Oh, blimey. Glad I washed my feet this morning. Yeah. Get your feet down to the bottom. Right. It's nice and warm, so we're going to shuffle through like this, okay? We do the cocoa shuffle, right. <laughs> and then we turn around. Yeah. And then we go again with that shuffle. Yep. So Drying the beans, making fine chocolate in Grenada. Lovely. Wow, what a life. You need a beat, don't yeah. you? <laughs> so if you're just opening a lovely bar of chocolate, think of my feet going through it. The cocoa dried, next stop the roasting room. 
600 pounds of beans are roasted here every week. I think I did all right there, do you? Oh, I missed some. Already roasted. Now they're broken up and the shells are removed. Oh, it smells amazing. It is intoxicating, isn't it? It is, it is. So this is our grinding room. Uh-huh. I feel like Charlie, which makes Shadell Willy Wonka. And this is my golden ticket to chocolate paradise. Let's add some more nibs in. OK. OK. How many do you want? We have to put all of this in. All of it? Wow. We can put in some sugar. Mm -hmm. Look at all that sugar. This grinds here for five days. For five, five days? Months. So it's quite a big process. It is a, pro it is a process that takes a long time. OK. You're doing very well, Jane. I'm thank so you. proud of you. Shadell, You've handled you. all of this so well. <laughs> you know? Well, if I'm rewarded with chocolate, I might forgive Shadell this air net. So mm -hmm. we're going to be tempering chocolate now. And Terence is going to show you how to do that. Hi, Terence. Uh -huh. How are you doing? I'm really good. Are you the temper man? Yes. Have you got a good temper? Yes, I do. Tempering is the process of stabilising the chocolate. Honestly, though, I'd happily stick my head under that tap right now and eat it unstable and runny. Right now, we're about to set the temperature of the chocolate. What that does, it gives you a nice shine, a nice snap. So this machine does everything for us. Right. Then it vibrates. Removing all the air bubbles so your chocolate could have a longer lifespan on the shelf. Right. I only have one button to push. Easy. So I press that. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. wrong, wrong. That's cool. <laughs> so I can grab that one for you. Yeah, that's, that's a bad temper one. <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm not good at this, am I? You're going to get it before you I don't out. think I am. And I didn't. So I left things to Terence. In the tempering room. Who evenly tempers the bars, then puts them in the fridge to set. Sorry for wasting all that chocolate. That's all right. <laughs> it's all in the game. <laughs> the estate makes over 1,800 bars of chocolate a week, and every single one needs packaging by hand. Yours looks slightly different to mine. <laughs> Bloody rubbish, isn't it, that? Yeah. Right, listen, if you get this bar of chocolate, I am so sorry. But it was my first attempt. So, Jane, because these were special chocolates made by a very special lady, we have a special label for you. Oh, my oh, God! How about that? <laughs> McDonald's Milky, Milky Mouthful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Not everyone gets a chocolate bar named after them here, but anyone can experience the chocolate making process and enjoy the finished product. So I'm going to see for real if McDonald's really is a milky mouthful. It just melts in your mouth. I'll be packing my case full of milky mouthful for friends at home. After another activity packed morning, when I get back to my beachside hotel, I'm in the mood for a chill and perhaps a cheeky cocktail. I absolutely love this time of day because it's, the sun is kind, it's cocktail time, and it's just the beginning of the evening, so, What's going on over here? What are they doing? Hold on, cocktails can wait, and I don't say that lightly. So who are these beautiful dancers? McDonald's on the case. Turns out this is the Grenadian Dance Collective, one unit, rehearsing on Grand Dance Beach, accompanied by the Lion Pride Percussion Group. Wow, this is an unexpected treat. Hiya! Hi, nice no, my name's you. Jane. I'm Ashley. Oh, Ashley. This is fantastic. I know, thank you very much. Yeah. It's called the ballet dance. It's one of our traditional dances. What's the history of the dance? 
So it was normally performed on the plantations and so on. And the slaves would normally mimic the dances of their owners and so right. on. And then we just kind of put our little funk into it. It's a lot better with the funk. Yeah, thank you. Well, you carry on. I'm going to funk over here on my thank own. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sir <Sarah>, love. <laughs> What a blissful end to the evening. I can sit poolside, facing the sunset, cocktail in hand, warm sea breeze, and be fabulously entertained by this colourful and bright bunch of locals. Coming up, thrills and chills at one of the island's best kept secrets. <laughs> that is amazing, man. As I go hiking and swimming in an actual rainforest. I'm so pleased that you talked me into doing that because I've had a really great time in there. It's my final day on the Caribbean island of Grenada and I'm going all Jungle Jane, ditching my sun lounger and going out of my comfort zone as I travel 16 miles inland to Grand Itang National Park. Then it's off-road and off-grid as I go deep into the rainforest. I'm not sure what to expect, but I've been told I'll experience one of the island's hidden treasures, the Seven Sisters Waterfall. Am I going alone? Am I echoes like I'm going to meet my guide called Simon, who is Grenada's answer to Bear Grylls. Now, I know I've got white capri pants on, but this is how I dress for the jungle. Yes, let's go and have an adventure. Ah, good morning. I'm Simon. Oh, I'm Jane. Welcome to Grenada. Thank you very much. First time? Yes. You Stick. ready? Yes. Oh, Make yourself it. comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a step up, it right? It is, isn't it, love? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Once again, the hotel arranged this trip for me. And I have to say, when you're a solo traveller, having a personal guide is great. Not only do you get to experience the amazing scenery, but it comes with the expert knowledge too. So we're literally driving along a mountain ridge. Mm -hmm. It's connecting one part to the other part, so you have literally valleys on both sides. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you can kind of observe the views. I expect the air's good up here as well. Oh, if you could package this air, it would be the most expensive air in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fallen in love with this place. Grenada to me is like the best kept secret in the Caribbean. I'm happy you said that. Yeah. It has worked to our benefit because, um, as you would notice when we go into the forest, there are a lot of relatively wild, unmanicured kinds of trails in some cases. Yeah. That adds a certain charm to it. Unmanicured and wild? I think Simon's mixed me up with Indiana Jane. So we're heading down into the gorge where right. we start our little hiking trek. Maybe I should put hiking boots on. No, no, yes, the shoes are fine. Are they? Yeah, Good. they're fine. <laughs> what an amazing place. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> no problem, love. It's just how I drive. <laughs> right. <laughs> now oh. off we go. Alrighty. Morning. How are you doing? Good, good. What's the rope for? So the rope kind of helps, just in case we need to repel down or just to be assisted to get down there. Machete? Sometimes we need to cut apart because um, the rainforest, things go really rapidly. Right. right? Or I may have to cut your walking stick. Lovely. Good. <laughs> so you all ready? Um, yes. I'm following you because you've got the rope, machete and the knapsack. <laughs> no problem. All right. right. In fact, I'm going to get you a walking stick. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. All right, let's do that. Can you smell the difference in the air already? The oh, freshness of it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's just an invigorating feeling whenever oh. I 
stand here and just, you know, Oh, breathe it in. <laughs> Expound those lungs. Yeah. I'm just going to ask, sure. are we mainly going up or down? We're actually going to be walking down to the gorge from here. Right. We descend perhaps about 600 feet down to the valley floor. 600 uh, feet? Yeah, but not a vertical drop. I'm glad about that. <laughs> but then we've got to come back up, haven't we? Yeah, but it's actually a lot easier going up. Hmm, says he. This hike is about a mile and a half and passable all year round. Mind your steps. I will. And if you're the kind of person who doesn't wear capri pants on a hike, you can do it without a guide. Now, if you look, you see these tall trees. Locally, the name for this tree is the Bois Canoe. And uh, it's a medicinal plant and the leaves look like this. If you have a headache, they'll use the green leaves and wrap your head with it and make a sort of a poultice with it. And miraculously, your headache goes away. I've actually tried it and it actually works. I'm all up for that. All right. <laughs> yeah. But all this luscious vegetation does mean the humidity is off the scale. I am actually sweating. I'm not just glowing like I normally do. It's hot and it's very, very steep, but I can hear the river. So that is telling me that we're nearly there. And hopefully I can strip off and jump in the waterfall. So welcome to Seven Sisters Falls or St. Margaret's Falls. Wow, look at this. It's gorgeous. It is indeed a peaceful oasis. For me, it's just almost like my Zen space, you know, right. where I kind of come back to just relax and get myself together. The allure of the cool looking waters is rather appealing. I think after you take a dip into this pool, right. you're going to rejuvenate yourself. Yeah, does it rejuvenate? And you're going to have more energy than you expect really? to walk back up there. I hope you're right. OK, Zen space, here I come. <laughs> that is freezing, man! <laughs> Rejuvenating! Oh, I feel like a teenager again. Jumping in off that is brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, so first hitting the icy water is a bit of a shock but you soon forget the cold and relish the sense of freedom it gives you. After all, a jungle walk followed by an ice-cold waterfall swim ain't something you get back at home. I'm so pleased that you talked me into doing that because <laughs> I've had a really great time in there. <laughs> well, I'm happy you did. Yeah. I'm not bothered about going back up now. Yeah. <laughs> did I just say that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, onward. All right. Onward and upward. Yay. These are one of the more accessible waterfalls in Grenada, but there are over 18 to be explored if you fancy more than one jungle dip. What a fantastic way to spend my last day on the Spice Isle. And the company was brilliant. Simon has been a joy to listen to today. You learn so much more about the island when you come on a trip like this, because this is real Grenada. Walking's great, but stopping can be just as enjoyable. Time to take the weight off my feet and feel the rays on my face. The perfect way to end a perfect trip. Plus, my new local foodie knowledge has come in handy whilst choosing my sundowner. Pina colada? Oh, yes, please. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Welcome. Now I've learned an awful lot about spices and how good they are for you. So I've got the nutmeg now sprinkled on the top of my pina colada. So now it's not only my most favourite cocktail, it's good for me. So cheers. And I can't leave Grenada without a song. It's what I do and it's who I am. The aromas and memories of the Spice Isle will stay with me forever. And here's a tune that could perhaps be its national anthem. Summer Breeze by Seals and Croft. Ha, 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 yeah. Summer breeze all in my mind. <laughs> Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Blowing through the jasmine in my mind. See the 
Time, come join me on the Millionaire's Playground Paradise of Antigua. I'm driving the chuffing boat. Ugh. Don't blame me. You've got an appetite, haven't you? High five. Yay.